Lewis, I'm 23, I'm from Austin, Texas, and I'm in the Color Guard for the Madison Scouts. I'm 22 years old and I am a member of the Color Guard and I am from Arkansas. Um, I auditioned in 2020 originally and I was I had received a call back in December and was like, really excited looking forward to April camp, May camp to audition and finally hopefully earn my contract however of course COVID canceled that um, but stayed with the Madison Scouts through 2020 with the Maju program and re-auditioned in August of 21 or August of 20 excuse me and earned my contract for this season and now I'm here and I am loving every second of it. Uh, the way I got involved uh, through Madison Scouts was actually through a hometown friend named Jordan. We went to college together. Um, he told me to come audition because he saw that I had talent and he wanted me to march with him for the summer. So I originally started marching in 2018. I took 2019 off and then 2020 COVID happened. And so now I'm back to finish my age out season uh, during 21. My solo moment to me kind of means a lot. I wasn't expecting anything kind of going into this. I was really excited to just make flag line. I was like, I'm good with that. And so then I found out my drill was on the 15th. I was like, oh, that's cool. And then Lucas, one of our techs, pulled me aside one day in Eau Claire and he looks at me and he goes, you need to learn this choreography. This is going to be your solo in the show. And I was like, excuse my what? My, my solo? And he was like, yeah. I was like, okay, cool. Ever since then, it's been kind of surreal. I never thought that I would be a soloist for a world-class core, especially for one such as like the Madison Scouts, like it's kind of crazy and unreal. And this show is hard, I'm not going to lie to you, but the applause and the cheer from the crowd kind of after, you know, I have my catch and I go for it, it makes everything so much more worth it and it makes me that much more excited to march with my family, you know, for the rest of the show. So in part four, I have a, a Rifle 6 solo. Uh, it came out of nowhere one practice. They just asked me, could I do anything like spectacular in the middle of a form? And I was just like, yeah. So they gave me the Rifle 6 solo and basically I just I just do it. I go out there and I do my best and uh, I just try and catch hard and please the crowd during the screaming trumpets, which is already super amazing. I really love to perform actually the second movement. Um, and that one actually started as a bit of a love-hate relationship. I didn't really think about as much of myself as a dancer. And then they were like, hey, you're going to be on the dance line. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I think the second movement has become my favorite just because it's been the area that I've seen the most personal growth in. And it's the one where I've developed a lot as both as a performer and as a person. And I've kind of come to love it because it's showed me, hey, you actually are good at this and you actually are a good performer. It has helped me believe in myself uh, and, and my family as well because the dance line is an incredibly supportive team and we're just phenomenal with our person. It's just a lot of fun to perform. A favorite moment in the show that's not my solo moment would have to be the fourth movement after the rotating company front. I just think there to the end, as soon as they do their visual and I have to run between them, I just think there to the end is just super powerful. And it also helps that the crowd is literally on their feet by the time they get to the rotating company front. We have some awesome uh, choreography written by our Chelsea and all of our staff and they do such a great job. And I just love uh, overperforming that part because it just simply makes me feel so happy. I 
can't even describe what it's like hearing people cheer for our show as often as they do. Um, it's not easy, the show at all, so it makes it worth it and it makes it that much more enjoyable and a richer experience to be completely honest when people cheer for it that often because it's rewarding. It means that I'm doing my job. At the Madison Scouts, you know, we've been taught that our purpose is to serve others. We are here, we are loud, when we are pleasing the crowd, like that is our mantra. And so to know that we are doing that and we are achieving that goal makes it that much more fulfilling as a performer because that means I'm doing my job. At the end of the day, yes, I'm, you know, a professional performer as they say, but I get to perform a show that I absolutely love and it also fulfills other people's experiences with the poor and we ultimately do our jobs and we do what we came here for. I think that people should march Madison Scouts because uh, not only is it a home, but it's a it's a growing family. COVID really just made it so hard for like people to want to do this. And I think that this staff and the whole program has done a really good job um, in rebuilding the program. And I'm super excited to see where it goes. And uh, I think everybody should have this opportunity. And I think everybody should be a part of this great organization. If you were to want to march the 2022 season, I would highly recommend, highly, highly recommend the Madison Scouts because not only is our design team and our admin team phenomenal and incredibly supportive, but I can say without a doubt that every marching member here is a member of my family now, and I know that I will be with them till the end, whenever that may come, and that this has been an unreal experience, and I'm really excited to see what happens next.